Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Furlong and this video is going to walk you through how to extract DNA from your cheek cells. And so we're going to need to get some materials together. So you're going to need a, a test tube rack with a special type of test tube in it. Uh, we have a plastic dropper. We need to have a electrolytic solution that will get our cheek cells from our inside of our mouth. We have a lysis solution and then we have a nice ice cold bottle of alcohol. And so the first thing we need to do is to extract the cheek cells. So we're going to use this electrolytic solution and uh, this is better known as Gatorade. We want to swish this around in our mouth for one minute. All right, so uh, as you're doing that, though, use your teeth to kind of scrape the inside of your cheeks. Also, right in the front, uh, in the, under the lips, uh, is a good place to get cheek cells as well. And then we are going to spit it back out into the cup. Ooh, sounds kind of gross, but uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of cells in there. So why don't we uh, get started? So once you have uh, the Gatorade back into your cup, along with a bunch of saliva, and uh, there's a whole bunch of cheek cells in there, we're going to pour it into our conical-shaped test tube, carefully. All right. The next thing we want to do is add two milliliters of the lysis solution to our test tube. Now lysis means to split open. Uh, this is basically just a soap solution and of course soap uh, likes to tear apart grease and really when you think about our cell membrane it's mostly made up of lipids so it'll tear apart the membrane and it will release the contents of the cell. So you just use your dropper and measure two milliliters into the dropper about one and a half, so I'm gonna, but I don't wanna just, because it is a soap solution, I just don't want to pour it all in there and get it all bubbly and so on. Let's put the lid back on this and I'm gonna screw it back on tight. Now I want to mix this up, so I'm going to invert it five times. So an inversion looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. And I now need to let this sit for two minutes. Next thing we want to do is using the ice cold alcohol and our solution, I'm going to add alcohol to the solution. But here's the trick. I want to hold it at an angle and I want to slowly drizzle the alcohol down the side of the test tube. I don't want my Gatorade, saliva, cell solution, and my alcohol solution to mix. And what I'm, so I want to have two distinct boundaries or a boundary line between the two. Like this. And we're going to fill it up to about between 12 and 15 milliliters. So that's about three fourths of the way up. I'm going to cap it and you can see two distinct areas. So there's my clear area with the, uh, with the alcohol and there's the cells and the Gatorade and so on. I'm going to let this sit now for 15 minutes.
So after the 15 minutes, you're going to find that there is a big area of white stuff. Those are your chromosomes. So you can use the dropper and get up as much of that as you can. And we're simply going to put it into a small test tube. And now you have a test tube of you. Simple.